Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Right, okay, um, let's make a start on, on proof by induction. So I just put together kind of a summary of what is proof by induction and the steps in it that you need to do for proof by induction because it's very much a, a formal method of proof. Um, so proof by induction is a, used to prove cer certain statements are true for all natural numbers uh, from some starting number upwards. And that starting number is often one, it's normally one, but it could be another natural number or could even be zero. Um, so I'll draw your attention to that as we're doing them. And I have one towards the end um, that doesn't start with one, just, just to show you um, how it's written and where to look out for it. Um, so as part of the Leave Insert course, there's three types of statements that you could be asked to prove true. So one of them is the sum of a series, and it's by far the most common one that's been asked. Um, prove a disability statement, a divisibility statement that should stay. And the third one is proven inequality statement. So we're going to go through the three of them. And of course you have De Mauvre's theorem two, which is a type of um, proof by induction question that gets asked. So the steps, they're going to give you a statement um, and, and I'll refer to it as, as P of N, it's a function. Step one, you show that the statement is true for n equals the starting number. And in many cases, that's one. So you'll often see show true for n is equal to one. Step two, you assume a true for n is equal to k. And if we continue to use the, um, the functions notation, of course, that'll be p of k. OK, make sure that you write down assume true for n is equal to k and you fill in the statement when n is equal to k. Step three, then, is the the I suppose the, the meat of the question. It's where you prove true for n is equal to k plus one. Uh, and you actually write down prove true or something similar to that. And um, when you're doing the, the proof, you replace all your ends in your questions with k plus one. And then there's a bit of algebra to show that basically the left hand side equals the right. And then there's kind of a, a standard conclusion that's given to the question. You basically say that you've just shown P of K plus one is true, assuming P of K was true in the first place. Um, you often say you've proven it true for the starting number and therefore it's true for all, all numbers. Okay, so that's what we're going to go through in the next batch of, of questions. If you've enjoyed this video, then why not join us in IT Sligo and use maths in practice? In conjunction with industry, we've designed an exciting new programme in electronics and self-driving technologies, which uses cutting-edge techniques such as artificial intelligence, computer vision and virtual and augmented reality. You'll need a H5 in maths to qualify. Check out the link below.